Hi, I am Hanbil Cho from Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. In this talk, we are going to present our paper, Video Inference for Human Mesh Recovery with Vision Transformer. Human Mesh Recovery, HMR, is a problem that uses RGB inputs to infer the human body model, such as SMPL, parameters that represents a person's three-dimensional pose and shapes. Along with the 3D joint-based approaches, HMR is a fundamental task of computer vision, and is highly sought in downstream applications such as computer graphics, robotics, and AR, VR. In recent years, there have been significant improvements in HMR. However, Due to the inherent ambiguity of the task, such as depth and occlusion, it is difficult to achieve high accuracy. Recently, to eliminate this ambiguity, many researchers utilized either temporal or kinematic information in HMR. Vibe attempted to understand human behavior by encoding temporal information from video inputs, thereby overcoming depth ambiguity. Metro allowed the model to understand the non-local relationships between body joints through masked vertex modeling by using transformer and as a result, showed good performance in the case of occlusion exists. Although these methods have improved performance compared to the existing ones, there is still no method that takes advantage of both approaches. To overcome this issue, in this study, we propose Video Inference for Human Mesh Recovery with Vision Transformer, HMRV, that can consider both temporal and kinematic information simultaneously. The overall framework of HMRV is depicted in Figure 1. The goal of HMRV is to infer human pose and shape from a video more robustly by simultaneously modeling temporal and kinematic information. For this, we incorporate Vision Transformer into the video-based HMR. HMRV mostly follows the framework of Vibe, which first encodes each frame of a video sequence using the frozen pre-trained image encoder and then extracts the temporal information between each feature vector of the frame. However, unlike Vibe, which only performs temporal modeling using gated recurrent units, groups, our method exploits the network architecture of Vision Transformer, V, to encode temporal and kinematic information simultaneously. To achieve this, in HMRV, a temporal kinematic feature image is first constructed by concatenating the feature vectors generated by the image encoder from each frame along the time axis. The height of the constructed feature image denotes the time dimension and the width denotes the channel dimension of a feature vector extracted from each frame that can be considered to contain the kinematic information of a person. Then, we encode the information by considering the feature image as an image input of Vision Transformer. As in Vision Transformer, the feature image is reshaped into a sequence of flattened 2D patches. Because each patch is composed of temporally and kinematically close information, our HMRV can consider both temporal and kinematic information by modeling the relationship between these patches using an attention mechanism. To use a feature image as a 2D image input of Vision Transformer, the feature image should first be divided into multiple patches. When dividing the feature image into patches, information with similar temporal and kinematic meaning should be grouped to ensure good modeling between patches with different information. However, the width elements of the feature image representing the channel components of the feature vectors are not arranged in a kinematically meaningful order. Therefore, we propose a learnable channel rearranging matrix, CRM, to further improve the performance of HMRV by allowing spatially close kinematic features to be located close to each other on the channel dimension when generating the feature image. This allows each patch to be composed of information with a more similar kinematic meaning by sorting the width elements of the feature image. Finally, we use the regression network to infer the SMPL pose and shape parameters from the feature encoded by Vision Transformer. To demonstrate the effectiveness of our method, here we use 3 DPW and human 3.6 meters datasets as our evaluation data, and we report the performance of HMRV on PVE, MPJPE, and PAMPJPE. Table 1 shows the quantitative results of HMRV and existing HMR methods on the 3DPW dataset. As shown in the table, the proposed method shows better performance in PVE and MPJPE metrics for both the frame-based and temporal-based methods. In particular, it can be confirmed that HMRV shows competitive performance with VIBE, 
the state-of-the-art video-based HMR. In addition, we compared the qualitative results of the proposed method and VIBE. As shown in Figure 4, the proposed method shows more plausible results than the comparative method. Also, as shown, HMRV, item in Table 1, HMRV shows better performance without using a mass dataset used by VIBE. As such, the performance improvement achieved in situations using much fewer parameters and data is not marginal thus demonstrating the efficiency and efficacy of the proposed method, where both spatial and temporal information is modeled simultaneously using the temporal kinematic feature image and v-encoder. Furthermore, as shown in HMRVW, motion disk, item of table 1, our method achieves a much greater performance improvement when applying the same motion compensation as in VIBE. To verify the effectiveness of each of the proposed methods, we compare the proposed method with our baseline, as shown in figure 2, to which transformer is naively applied. Table 2 shows the results. As can be seen from the table, our method shows better performance than our baseline, and there is an additional performance improvement when the CRM matrix is applied. This verifies that constructing a temporal kinematic feature image and using it as an image input of V is an effective method. Also, as shown in figure 3, the CRM matrix converges to an appropriate sorting matrix. Moreover, we performed an ablation study on the patch size dividing the feature images. As shown in table 3, the lower errors are shown when PC denoted the size of the channel dimension of the divided feature image and point denoted the size of the time dimension of the divided feature image, have small values. This proves that dividing the feature image into patches helps in modeling temporal and kinematic information. For computational complexity, number of trainable parameters, HMRV requires only 44 million parameters, 36% less than those of VIBE, 69 million, as shown in Table 4. Also, as shown, HMRV, item in Table 1, HMRV shows better performance without using a mass dataset used by VIBE. As such, the performance improvement achieved in situations using much fewer parameters and data is not marginal thus demonstrating the efficiency and efficacy of the proposed method, where both spatial and temporal information is modeled simultaneously using the temporal kinematic feature image and v-encoder. Furthermore, as shown in HMRVW, motion disk, item of table 1, our method achieves a much greater performance improvement when applying the same motion compensation as in VIBE. We presented a video-based HMR method named HMRV that can model temporal and kinematic information simultaneously. To this end, we incorporated Vision Transformer into the conventional video-based HMR. For given video frames, we construct a temporal kinematic feature image and apply the proposed channel rearranging matrix to use it as an input for vision transformer. The experimental results indicate that HMRV achieves superior performance with the highly efficient model in terms of computational complexity compared to the existing HMR methods, and the ablation studies verify the efficacy of each of the proposed methods. Thank you for listening.